you have your way, Father, yes, as only you can, Father. Yes, Lord. You're the supreme authority in our lives. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Another day, another Mother's Day, yes, Father God. Yes, Lord. Thank, thank you for our mothers, God. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, thank you for even allowing our mothers to be with you, Father. Yes, God. Either way we look at it, we're grateful for it. Yes, we appreciate you, Father. Yes, you are a good God. Yes, an awesome provider. Yes, Wonderful way maker. Yes, Father God, we love you and we thank you, God. Yes, Even now, Father, I take authority over everything that's not like you, yeah, God. Yeah, 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 Spirit yeah. of heaviness, God. Yes, God. Depression, Father yes, God. God. Complaining yes, and murmuring. Yes, Ungrateful. Yes, Pity parties. God, yes, we come against yes, everything that the yes, enemy, Father God, has strategically yes, planned against our lives. We pray that you overrule and override the very plan and the plot of the enemy yes, concerning our life yes, and the lives of our children, God. Yes, we come against adultery, lust, perversion, yes, anger, yes, violence, God. We curse it to the root, Father. Yes, in the name of Jesus, Lord, have your way, Father God. Lose your glory, God. Lose your anointing, God. As only you can, Father. In Jesus' name, God. Father God, if you don't move, ain't nothing going to happen, God. Connect me this morning, God, to the needs of these, your people, Father. To minister hope, God, and courage, instruction, God, reproof, God, even rebuke, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless his holy name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Bet y'all, y'all well, ain't hot today. <laughs> I'm a petty too. I'm a petty too. When he figures I'm going to leave it on all night. I'm going to leave it on all night. All night. Uh, amen. But it, uh, I'm glad y'all come in and be sweating, man. Amen. You should be able to worship comfortably, so God really bless me. It was low on Freon. That one got a leak. I ain't finna fix that. I'm gonna fix Amen. this leak. Yeah, I'm not, I, yeah, I'm not fixing that. Yeah. We'll just keep pumping it in until we leave. Can I get Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, well, y'all he, he, was here before he came. Yeah, yeah, he came after y'all. But I, no, I'm trying to get him all week. All week, he kept missing appointments. So, you know, to God be the glory, we got it done. Amen. I was aiming for Sunday. I said, I just know they can't come here on Sunday this hot. I just knew that. Yeah, but I forgot all about yesterday. Amen. That with, uh, amen. How we bless the woman of God. Amen. Even though I was hearing about it every day, it just wasn't it wasn't registering. You know that y'all gonna be in here sweating. Amen. But, uh, amen. 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 Third Friday. Amen. Uh, we gonna be starting and establishing um, uh, the youth and the children's ministry. Amen. The third Friday. Amen. From six to seven thirty. Amen. Um, you can bring your children here. Amen. And we're we're starting. Amen. We're starting our, our children's ministry, our youth ministry. Can I say amen? amen? One of my greatest desires of pastoring, amen? amen? Outside of transportation is children's ministry, amen? amen. Uh, June 25th, amen, we're doing baptism and it's the church cookout. If you're getting baptized, I need you please be obedient today and put your name on the on the chalkboard. I only see two names and I see more people raise their hand. Amen. So the, the clipboard is right on the other side of the um, gold sheet, right? Amen. Right there. Amen. Right there. Can I get amen? amen. Go ahead and turn right there. Amen. Can I get amen? amen. So, <laughs> amen. And please sign it today if you're getting baptized, amen. amen. I just want to know what I'm looking at. Can I get amen? amen. Um, and it's the church cookout that day, amen. amen. Our annual cookout from one to five, from one to five, amen. amen. If you got your Bibles, go over to the book of Judges, chapter six. Judges, chapter six. The book of Judges, chapter six, amen. verse one. Oh, we got a lot of people went to their mama church this morning, amen? Amen. 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 Got a lot of Baptist churches filled this morning. Amen. Where we go? We're cold. You can back the day. Amen. 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 Judges chapter 6. How y'all doing this morning? Good. Good. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. Happy Mother's Day to all mothers. Amen. amen. And to those of you that are without a mother as I am, can I get an amen? amen? Let's make sure we mourn in the right way. Amen. 
Take it in there. The enemy wants you to get angry. Amen. Want you to no, no more and more than the fruit. Amen. More and more, and have a peaceful, joyful more. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. You'll come out better. You'll come, and you're gonna grow through it, and it'll pass through quicker. Yes. The enemy wants to take you to a depressed place. Yes. That's right. They never want you to get mad at people because you lost your love and love. Yes. Be absent from the body. Be present with the Lord. Yes. So they in a better place. Yes. So you know what I mean? How you gonna get better with God because He chose to bring His child home? Can I get amen? amen? But he understands, you know, more. He say, we were mad do it for a night, but joy gonna come in the morning. Amen. You ain't gonna never see that morning if you better. Can I get amen? amen? We got to endure it, amen? We got to walk through it. We gonna lose loved ones. That's a part of life, you know. He yes, say, in this world, you gonna have tribulation. We gonna go through it. See, but in me, you're going to have peace. Yeah. Yeah. Be a good cheer. I've overcome the world. we got to focus on the body of the peace. Amen. That's a morning. That's more than the peace. We're not like the world. Yeah. We're not turning the chemicals to alter our mood. Amen? Amen. We have the spirit of the living God. Amen. And if an emotion of depression come up, come on, can I get amen? amen. Bible says we got to go and pray for the spirit of evidence. Yeah. There's a word for everything. Amen. Amen. Yeah. God done gave you everything you need to remind him. Amen. And then he said, put me in remembrance. Yes. He said, all things work together. Things. It's supposed to work. It's supposed to now. Amen. If you do it his way. Amen. 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 But yeah, let's, let's, let's mourn in God. Let's amen. mourn in the fruit. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? You have a right to mourn. You have a right. That's why I would say crying when you, your tears, those are liquid prayers. Amen. Amen. Liquid prayers. You communicate with God as you mourn. Amen. You communicate with God. Say, the angels bottle up your tears. Oh, those are liquid prayers. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. Men. Man, ain't nothing wrong with crying. Amen. You know, even though we ain't finna cry in front of y'all. <laughs> Can I get it? I know I ain't. There wasn't a whole lot on me. God, I cry ugly. Because <laughs> I don't cry a lot. So when I do, boy, look here. You need that huffing and heaving. Because <laughs> I don't cry a lot. But when I do, I get it in. I'm going to let it all go. And I don't want to come back here for about five more years. I'm just being real. <laughs> so that ain't, that ain't for everybody. Ain't for nobody to see but me and God. <laughs> I'm on it. I know. Okay. Especially my wife, Trill, the way she ranked. Uh, don't be busting on me about that, dog. I walk around the house talking about I'm going to beat too much anyway. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Uh, Judges chapter 6. <laughs> Look, you woman. <laughs> Those that are mourning. Can I get an amen? Amen. Well, I thought something was in the cup. <laughs> Romans chapter 6. Amen. Huh? Uh, verse 1. I'm trying to let everybody judge it. I'm sorry. Let's <laughs> see. I'm trying to buy some time. Amen. Yeah. Judges 6 and 1. Judges 6. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> I love it. Y'all got on blank or something for y'all. Oh. <laughs> 6 and 1. Right, right, right. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. In the sight of the Lord. <laughs> in the sight of the Lord. No matter where you at, you always in his sight. We know his eyes go to and fro throughout this earth. <laughs> Behold him both good and evil. But the main thing is he trying to see whose heart is upright to him. In your secret places. But ain't nobody at but you and God. You out of town, yeah, the little corner store. <laughs> Get some gas, ain't nobody to do all that. But God, though, <laughs> your spouse might need that, but God, though, amen. Come, come, amen. amen. Say that did evil in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Start over and ride. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Mm. Uh huh. So the Lord delivered them into the hands. Because we know He's ubiquitous. We teach that. We understand that. He's everywhere. Amen. Everywhere. Everywhere. Amen. At the same time. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? We know He knows everything. Yes, he's omnipresent. He's omniscient. And He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? He's El Shaddai. Yes, Can I get an amen? amen? We understand and know that He has more power than the enemy, the devil, amen. correct? Amen. We also understand and know that we got more power than amen. the devil, right? Amen. We know that, right? Amen. 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 Start on right. Start on right. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. So the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Midian. Oh, delivered them. Yes. Uh, that, 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 we, we call that on the street. That's backward hustling. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you hustling backwards. Can I get amen? Yeah. We try to get delivered from the enemy. Yeah. Right but they don't take God off, but he done delivered them into the hands of the enemy. Yeah. Can I get amen? Y'all yeah. know I always teach that. We always teach, but we're going to yeah. deal with it this morning. Yeah. When God take and put you over to what you've been playing with. Right now, yeah. Yes. You don't play with it so long. He done tried to draw you in the season. And yeah, he yeah, you just keep on God said, okay, then go, go back over there. That's right, right. now. Amen. Let me pull my grace up a little bit. Let me put you in over there in the hands right. of that death since you want that job. That's right. Right now. So you want to play with it. Can I get an amen? Thinking it's a game. Messing with God. Can I get an amen? amen. Right. Start on one more time. Right, right there, right. So the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian for seven years. No, stop about six and one, right. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Mm. So the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian for seven years. He put them out there for seven years. Yes. Seven one thing years. I love about God, boy, everything, everything. Boy, look at your neighbor and say everything. Everything, everything. 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 got an expiration date on it. Yes. Amen. Everything got an expiration date on it. Can I get amen? Trouble don't last always. Come on. Not always, huh? No, no. Even if you call, even if it's self-inflicted, it don't last always. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everything God do, He does it for a purpose. It's a reason. It's a lesson behind it. And the only way it's going to be a blessing behind the lesson is if you comprehend it and get what God's trying to teach you. Because y'all know when we teach you here, you better know how to read life. We read life, meaning we understand what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis. Can I get amen? Because I know today prepare me for tomorrow. We teach over here that this is for that. If I don't get this, I ain't going to be ready for that job. Can I get amen? amen. All right, one more time. Right, we're going to be done with that one. Go, 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 go. Then the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord. Uh huh. So the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Midian mm. for seven years. Put them right over there. Mm -hmm. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. Mm -hmm. That's what he wanted to happen. Uh huh. Because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made for themselves the dens, the caves, and the strongholds. They found places to hide because of them. Go, go ahead and ride. The children of Israel made for themselves the dens, the caves, and the strongholds, which are in the mountains. Uh-huh. So it was. Uh-huh. Whenever Israel had sown, Midianites would come up. Whenever they sown, the Midianites came out, uh-huh. Also, the Amalekites and the people of the... Now, the Midianites and the Amalekites. Now, ain't, 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 ain't that's something else, boy. When two enemies become friends just to pull you down. <laughs> 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 Now they can't just stand each other, but just to pull you down, they put the hop down. Now they besties with one motive, one motive to kill your name, to uproot what God doing in your life. Can I get an amen? Come on, man. That's who they always were. Some people, man, listen. You, you, they, they, people are consistent in who they are. Come on. Can I get an amen? It just took for you to elevate and rise to expose it. Yeah. Everybody don't want you to rise now. On, they happen as long as you under them. As long as you borrow it. As long as you need some advice. But boy, when you start rebuking them, you're going to see the true cop. When you start correcting them, you're going to see the true cop. Boy, that's good. When you start driving a better car than them, and you move in a better house. Can I get you? When the joker show you who it is, you better believe him. All that trying to persuade now, you can't change nobody. You just woke up something that was laying dormant. But you better read that thing for what it is. Can I get that man? Amen. I showed you got your place where now y'all become unequally yoked. Yeah, the true intents of their hearts was revealed. That's why I always pray that God show me the intents and the motives of every man and every woman's heart who stand before me. What's your motive? Yeah. See me, I got a heart to give. I'm going I'm 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 to give. I'm gonna help y'all way to the end. God show me. Don't let him use me, Lord. Come on. It's your turn, it's your money, Lord. But I don't like wasting my time. Time is the most valuable commodity I possess. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Amen. Call meetings with no agenda. Come on, man. Amen. Tell me you finna meet up and you 30 minutes late. Man, look here. That's why I got rid of the first AC man. Had me sitting up here waiting. Amen. You had me so hot, man. Can I get an amen? amen. 
Oh, for real though, man. That's disrespectful to waste your time. You will never get your time back. That's right, man. That's right, man. That's good. My time will value my money. Come on, as long as I'm living, I'm going to make more money. I'll I spend that 10, that 10, no, I'll make that back. But I won't get them 10 minutes back. You don't get it, man. You better know how to read life, man. Right, right there, right. So they don't get them, they don't get them, partners. That's good. So pull you down. Can I get an amen? You better discern your relationships, man. That's one thing God dealing with me about right now in this season is relational intelligence. Come on. Relational intelligence. Amen. As well as emotional intelligence. Amen. Those two things he got me all. Because God, listen, seasons change. I told y'all with people. Yeah. Notice how they season change. Yeah. Uh -huh. He put them in the hand of the whole season change. Yeah. But not in the hand of the millionites. Yeah. Can I get an The whole season change. Yeah. Yes, amen. See, when God takes and put you in the hand of your enemies for one purpose and one purpose only, yeah. that's a whole season of God that's designed to correct you. Yeah. It's a season of correction. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Yeah. And his whole purpose, his solemn purpose, is to process repentance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you better hear me. That's why he gives you to that thing. Okay, go over there so I can reveal. I want you to see that it's a lot. The grass ain't greener. The seed's sweet because you dab and dip and dab. Well, uh, let me take my grace off it. See, you playing with my grace right now. See, my grace cushion in the blow. Let me remove my grace and put you over there and let you go on some all nighters. Because of my grace, you're a functioning addict. Because of my grace, you ain't getting caught while you slipping, dipping, tipping and dipping and peeking the hat. Because of my grace, I'm going to take my grace off. Now you truly exposed. Now you feeling the whole ramification of your decision making. Can I try to put you over there so you can feel it? Cause you think it's sweet right now. It's my grace covering that mess. Put you over there so you can truly get tired of it. And I ain't gonna leave you all up for no one year. And not for no two years. Cause I'm gonna sit you over there for seven. Seven years. Come on, man. I'm gonna let you dry it on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Cook you so long. <laughs> I love my wife like a chicken. Dry it out. <laughs> <laughs> she, she like it like a real. Dry it out. I mean, ain't no pungency, no juice, no. What's your life? Potato chips. <laughs> Come here, be so mad. I can have it. That's how she like it. <laughs> Take mine out early. I can have it. Chew a whole bone up with it. Go ahead. Ride, 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 ride. So they hop down the devil to pull you down, right? And so it was. Whenever Israel had sown, Midianites would come. And you were out here trying to fight to make these relationships work. All right now. Can I get amen? amen. God allowed things to happen for a reason. That's all we say. Some people in your life for a reason, some for a season, some forever. That's right, that's right. Fall back and just follow God and just watch how things play itself out. Some people ain't designed, ain't cut to go where you going. Some people serve the reason or you serve the reason. Can I get an amen? Some people serve their season or you serve the season of their life. But that's why you got to be connected and sensitive to the spirit of the living God. To know what God is doing. See, listen, my life is not my own. Can I get an amen? I understand that. That's why the Bible says it's a requirement of us as stewards. Yes. Uh -huh. Stewards. A steward is somebody that's managing something that belongs to somebody else. Yeah. 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 Can I get that? Yeah. My life belongs to God. Amen. So I got to be found faithful Amen. as a steward Amen. over this life that I'm managing for God. Amen. And if God says He can trust me more, He's going to release more. Amen. Can I get that? Look at your neighbor and say, can God trust you? Look at your other neighbor and say, can God trust you? Can he trust you? Can I get an amen? I'm not trying to get out boss and trust. I'm trying to get everybody in Can God trust you? Can he trust you to elevate? Can he trust you with his power? Can he trust you with authority? Can he trust you with finances? For the whole soul purpose is to bless others. Because you can't beat God given. If God can get it through you, he'll get it to you. This is on everything. We should know this by now. Can he trust you with power? Knowing that you're not going to seek it out. See, that's why he told Abraham, he said, I'm going to make your name great. He told him that. 
Abraham didn't request that. God said, I'm going to make your name great. And it wasn't for Abraham to be popular. It was for him to have influence over the people. Amen. For him to have integrity. Can I get an amen? amen. He wanted him to represent him to the people. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Can you be around the opposite sex and they be attractive and not try to holler at them? Can you put money in hand and you not just go spend it at your old lustful desire? Amen. Can God trust you? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. 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 It ain't just for the pastor up here. No, it's for the pew. Amen. We should be living exemplary lives on the pew. Amen. But those that we go out and touch, can I get an amen? amen? Your job should be your platform. Amen. Look at what he did with Peter. Peter, man, what Peter did? Peter let him jump on his boat with him. Yep. First met Peter. Peter let him hop on his boat. Yeah, Sailed out there in the middle of the water and preached the gospel. Amen. Peter followed him for the rest of his life. Amen. God should be able to use your business, your career. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he gonna give you some wisdom with it now, y'all. That's full of a zeal with no wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I get, amen. can I get an amen? I ain't want to lose amen. your job and all that. He'll give you wisdom. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Yeah, the anointing to the, when you, you first come to God, the anointing gonna bring a zeal with it. Amen. But you need to get some knowledge. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Right, right, right there. Y'all good? Y'all getting something? Amen. Right, right, right there, right there, right. So it was. Whenever Israel had sown, uh -huh. the, Midian, the Midianites would come up. Also, the Amalekites and the people of the east would come up against them. Then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth. The produce, uh huh. See, this is what happened when you're going to put your child. Go ahead. Right as far as Gaza and leave no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep nor ox nor donkey, for they would come up with their livestock and their tents. See, they had all these needs met with God. See, I don't know if y'all ever backslid. I, I, I did. <laughs> I had all that there. But when I left God, I had none of that there. But I was thinking about all that there I had when I was over there with them. Y'all understood how I just said that? <laughs> yeah, God got a way of getting your attention, boy. Yeah, yeah. Can I get amen? Because see, you're already over here trying to reap the benefits while you're tipping and dipping. So God put you over there. You don't got the benefits no more. You out there on your own. But he's still with you. Yes. Can I get an amen? Yes. But you're in a season of correction. Yes. Yes. See, that's why you go to Jeremiah 29. God went ahead and he went ahead and told him, say, y'all peep this. I'm going to put you over here for 70 years. <laughs> y'all know about that scripture right now? So I'm going to put you in bottom for 70. I want you to have babies. I want you to put, I want you to obey these people. I want you to grow. I want you to serve me. I'm still with you, but I'm putting you over to what you want. Amen. You decided to be at this point of oil. You decided to categorize your place in this relationship with me, is what God was saying now. Amen. So now I'm going to put you in the hand of the enemy, but I'm still going to be your God. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen. I'm going to come to live you, but it's going to be after 70 years. All right now. Come on, can I get an amen? Because in 70 years, you should be amen. fully processed yeah. to where you don't amen. never want to try that death again. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to want to try it like that again. Amen. Can I get an You better hear me. Amen. I remember man, I was out there, man, this, I back here, boy, they give. Boy, the first year, I'm like, God, what's up? Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Second year, God, what's up? Yeah. Third right. year, God, what's up? Okay. Six years. Yeah. Six years. Right. Wow. Never understood until I came back and started reading. I read all these scriptures before, but boy, I see them totally different now. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Amen. See, God let me sit out there alone, but I'll never. Yeah. But I promise you, I will never, ever want to see another stem. Right I even hate buying Brillo. Amen. I like the little green pads. I don't like Brillo in my house. I don't want to see another rock. Amen. Amen. Play with it. I don't even like soda cans. I drink that bottle. <laughs> Thank God they don't got cars with antennas no more. Y'all think it's a game. Y'all think it's a game. I don't even like no clear light. I got them long ones now. You click that down. I don't want to see no more though. Six years. Six years. Six years. You got my full attention. Y'all get tired of no dope no more. With the help of God. Six years. Oh, need three times. Rehabs. 
Yeah. Since you want to play with it, here you go. Yeah. But it ain't start off with dope. It started off in another area. Yeah. I slowly matriculated back to it. Keeping it real. You ain't gonna need to run back to it. You gonna have it. You better hear me. See the thing about it is, see the devil, see the Holy Ghost give you the ability to pray to see the whole movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. See when you play the devil long enough, you don't get to see it all the way through. Right. You just think it's sweet. You go for the moment yet. But see, you done abandoned the relationship with the Holy Ghost. Now you done lost that privilege. You can't see life all the way through now. The forbidden now is so exciting to you all over again. I get it. Am I making sense? Yeah, man. He, he put me in the hands of the enemy for six years. Yeah, man. Ooh, we. It's that season of correction. Yeah, yeah, for the sole purpose of processing true repentance. Yeah, God wants genuine repentance. Yes, yes, Not yes, no man. apology. Yes. Right, he wants God. I don't never want to do this again. Yeah, God help me. Yeah, yeah, God, you ain't pleased with it. I really about it. Help me. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do this no more. That's repentance. No matter how accessible you have to the situation, God want to make sure you ain't gonna touch it. So, oh, after three years, God said you need three more. Excruciating years of straight humiliation. Now, thank God they came out with Facebook Live after I got saved. I got this. <laughs> I got right just before life came, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have some viral, <laughs> viral TikToks, buddy. <laughs> read, read, read. <laughs> then they, then they would encamp against them and destroy the produce of the earth as far as Gaza. And leave no sustenance for Israel. The devil, the enemy is very methodical. Yes. He knows when to come. That's right. He knows how to attack. Yes. That's why I always told y'all, man, <clears throat> devil going to do what God allowed. Amen. And whatever God allowed the enemy to do, they, 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 when, whatever, look, read the book of Job. Whatever, you got to get permission before from yeah, God before you yeah. come to us with anything. Yeah, yeah. But whatever God grants him permission to do, the enemy is going to come with everything that God yeah. said he could do. He coming straight. He's coming relentlessly. He's coming aggressively. He's coming straight. Can I get an amen? With no let up. Now here it is. We the one got power over him. And we don't come with all authority. Why is that, y'all? It's a question. We got more authority. We got authority over him. See, it's easy for us to apply things that we see in the natural, but it's hard for us to apply what we know spiritually. Amen. Why is that? When the spirit realm is much more real than the natural. Amen. You got authority over all power of the enemy. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? So why are you right now worried and struggling with what you thought you were doing? Amen. Why the same situation always gets you balled up in the corner? Amen. 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 Single right now. Amen. Single right now. Single. God for the bless you with the husband and the wife of your dream. Amen. But you refuse to take authority over your flesh. Amen. Every time the fire gets you banking in your flesh, you go there. You put it out. Amen. It's some real stuff. If you just held out a little by, 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 by another two, three weeks. Amen. And really, whatever God, God will have a young man or a young woman that's gonna fall in love with your worship. Yeah. Amen. The person that's gonna love God more than they'll ever love you. Amen. The enemy don't want you to want that. Amen. That's right. It's always something about the most dangerous old old yep. football old foot walkers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Street walking women. Yeah. You like them strange things. <laughs> Somebody riding down the street and you see her walking. You turn your head. She ain't got no car. All you want to call the dust. All you only see the liability in that. <laughs> you rather pay for bus tickets than gas. <laughs> and I ain't down nobody's walking. I'm just saying God got you out of place. But you still like the stuff the enemy dangling in front of you. 
They ain't so much to see the enemy, but the enemy got a that'll pull you down. Yeah. Yeah. You sisters, this ain't that. They don't like the brother that got his pants tucked in, shirt tucked in with a belt. You like the old thug. Something about that dangerous one. Kind of like being on a diet. <laughs> oh, like eat oh, uh, like you don't eat the salad, you want that cheeseburger <laughs> with bacon and onions. <laughs> you don't want what's good for you. Something about that old. Some crabs. <laughs> I'm talking some real talk though. You don't want the good one. You want the one that's gonna cuss you out. The one that's gonna cheat on you. The one that's gonna have you run into the clinic. Oh, it's some real stuff. Yeah. Yeah. One ain't got no job. They're gonna be driving your car, dropping you off at work. Oh, Key to your house gonna be knocking women down to your house. Yeah. Yeah. Neighbors gonna be telling you. You gonna be thinking the neighbors lying. Yeah. You gonna think the neighbors want them? Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 from the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Something about that thug, but you got old good wholesome Johnny. That love God, that look like a geek, but it's crazy together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Johnny got a house, he paying a mortgage. Two cars he don't need use, the other car. 401k stocks and all kinds. You don't want him. Okay, can I get an amen? Come on, amen. Right there, right there, right right there. Neither sheep, neither sheep, nor ox, nor donkey, for they would come up with their livestock and their tents, coming in as numerous as locusts. Be both they and their camels were without number. As numerous as locusts. We always got to remember, man, God is still on the throne. No matter how intense of the situation may seem, God is still on the throne. We can't, see, listen, we can't allow our situation to become sovereign. Christ is sovereign. Can I get amen? amen? You can't become subject to the situation. Amen. Situations and circumstances, they always change. Amen. Amen. God sends us to the situation for the situation to change from what he's doing in our life. Yes. Can I get amen? That's why you say, man, listen, tell the mountain what to do. Yes. You say, you tell the mountain to be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea. You say, stop telling me about the mountain. Yeah. Tell the mountain about me. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get that man? This is some real stuff, y'all. Yeah. Read, read, read. This is stuff that run us from God. Yeah. This is stuff that have us depressed and defeated. Yeah. Because we don't stand in the word. We'll sit here. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. But when it's time to apply this word. Because yeah. I can tell you the word ain't for right now. Yeah. This word today going to be for next week. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be paying attention. Yeah. Yeah. Real. 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 This word ain't for this second. This word for up the road. Yeah. That's why he said, don't be just here. Be a doer of the word. Yeah. You got to do, put the word where it's supposed to belong yeah. at the right time. Yeah. 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 That's God and wisdom, y'all. Yeah. Wisdom yeah. is when you apply knowledge at the right time. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Read, says read. Y'all get some idea? Yeah. Read, read. For they would come up with their livestock and their tents. Coming in as numerous as locusts, mm -hmm. both they and their camels were without number, mm -hmm. and they would enter the land to destroy it. Come on, come on. So Israel was greatly impoverished because uh -huh. of the Midianites. They was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. It wasn't because of the Midianites, it was because of their choice. Yes, man. Man. Right. Before first chapter 6 and 1, before they got put in the hand of the Lord, they was prosperous. Yes. yes. Can I get amen? amen? They were scrapped like the fans. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Not because of the thing they were playing with. They over that night got you looking at me. You, you, you looking like the situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 When you fully giving yourself to a situation, it's gonna be, you ain't going to have to figure out what you do. Amen. It's going to be fully manifested on you. Yeah. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Okay. You're going to look straight like an alcoholic because that's all you want to do. Yeah. Can I get an amen? amen? Read, read, read. So Israel was greatly impoverished. Greatly, I love it. Go ahead. Was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. Uh huh. And the children of Israel cried out to they the Lord. They cried 
cried out to the Lord. Amen. Amen. They ain't got you crying out talking to God now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, well, I told everybody, man, don't you ever stop talking to God. Amen. Don't you ever let nobody. Amen. I don't care who the hell you know for yourself, God hears you. Yeah. Yeah. They were preaching that mess back in the I got saved in the 96 back then, God don't hear self. Yeah, you are your right. rabbit mind. Right. You are your rabbit yeah. mind. I know he heard me. All those shootouts. I know I'm supposed to got shot. Car wrecks. I know I'm supposed to be dead. You know God hear you. You know God heard you before you got here. The only reason you're here because you've been talking to God. The only reason you're here. Others been talking to him on your behalf, but you been talking to him. Come on, man. Talk to him long enough to you. Now you say, okay, God, I'm ready to live for you. Tired of playing with you. I'm ready to give you my life now. Can I get an amen? God made sure somebody introduced you to him at an early age. And nine times out of ten, with Big Mama. Amen. Yes. Amen. Nine times out of nine with now. Grandma. Me ma, whatever you want to call. Right. <laughs> I went from the hood to the trailer park. Amen. Read, read. And the children of Israel cried out to the Lord. They cried out to the Lord. Well, you better know who to talk to. Well, lay up. He heard my cry. Go ahead. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. Go ahead. Amen. When the children of Israel cried out to the Lord uh -huh. because of the Midianites. Look at what happened. That the Lord sent a prophet to I, the children I, I of Israel. I love God. Uh-huh. Amen. Who said to them. Listen now. Thus says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. He ain't going to give no normal prophecy. Usually the prophecy will tell you about what's going to happen. Uh -huh. Look at what God did to him. Read. Read. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, mm -hmm. I brought you up from Egypt and brought you out of the house of bondage, mm -hmm. and I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians. Look at what God did. He reminded them. Right. He tell them about the history. He tell them about the future. Hey, right. You better hear me. Hey. I told you about your history should be a place of reference, not residence. Hey. God always wants us to look at our history and hey, to, to bring us out today. It should be a tool of encouragement. It should, can I get an amen? To, get, to propel us forward, but we're not supposed to go there and get stuck. Can I get an amen? Like David said, listen, I, I killed the lion and the bear. I know I can kill this uncircumcised Philistine. Can I get an amen? So God reminded them of their past to encourage them for where they're going to go. Read. So he used the past to be a prophecy. The past had to be their prophecy for the future. Read, read. He said, thus says the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt, and I brought you out of the house of bondage, and I delivered you I out. did this. What are you reading, fast? I did this. I did this. Don't you I did this. But see, right now, this this is the end of it, y'all. This is the eighth year. Amen. They cried out, now he moved. This is the eighth year, y'all. He said seven years, but this is the bringing them out. They talking to him, now he's responding. Yes. Can I get an amen? amen? Notice, I keep telling y'all, seasons change with relationships. Now he's sending a prophet. The season's shifting. You better learn how to read life. They were talking about the sons of Issachar, was the tribe of Israel. Can I get an amen? amen? They were special because they were the smallest band, but when they, they were able to read the times. Amen. They were able to read the seasons. Amen. Amen. Man, y'all hear me, man? Yes. You better, I mean, you, God gives us the ability to understand the shifting of time. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm talking about when you fully connected, man. Amen. I know when God moves. Hold on, man. I feel in my spirit, man. Oh, I sense out of my spirit. So let me dig in for, okay, God, how am, I, how am I to position myself? Because something happening. I can feel it. Can, can, can I get a witness that you can, you can sense it's a shifting in the spirit? That the momentum is shifting. That's a God given a bell. That's discernment. That's a spiritual connection where God lets you know that something is happening before it happens. That's discernment. I should give to the spirit. Can I get an amen? amen. And we should be growing in it. We should be knowledgeable Amen. of what God is doing. That's the purpose of this relationship, y'all. We are to live a victorious Amen. life. Amen. And he's not coming up the throne to educate. He tell us on Sundays, Amen. on Wednesdays. Amen. When he loves you, you look at the right preachers on YouTube. Amen. The right preachers. Yeah. Amen. The greatest Amen. stuff out there. Can I get an amen? amen? Read, read, read. Write that right. Slow down a little bit. Go. 
I brought you up from Egypt uh -huh. and brought you out of the house of bondage. I brought you up. I brought you. Come on. I put you where you was at. Go ahead. And I delivered you out of the hand of I the did this. Go ahead. And out of the hand of all who... I used Moses. I used people, but it was me. Yeah. It was always, always had somebody, but it was me. Thank you, God. That's why I told y'all to live my life, man. My faith does not lie in the wisdom of man, but in the power of the living God. Can I get an amen? Man say you're going to do everything in the world to help you. Okay, okay, God, if you choose to use cause, good, but if you don't, I know you gonna provide my every need. Some kind of way you gonna get it to me. I'm not gonna get mad if he don't come through. Because if he don't come through, it wasn't your will to you. My faith is in you. If you use them, cool. Because I don't count nothing until it get in my hand. You'll learn that as a business owner. Customers are fickle. Customers are fickle. They're going to price shop. I don't care what they're going to they promise they're going to go with you. But boy, that changed, boy. <laughs> they don't answer their phone. You call them. And you don't went and bought a whole car because you think you're going to get a contract. Can they get an amen? Amen. Read, read, read. And out of the hand of all who oppress you, and drove them out before you, and gave you their land. I brought y'all and I drove them out. I get all this. He's reminding them now. See, God has a way of dealing with us now. And when God's speaking, he really is, he's, he's dependent on us to be totally attentive, cognitively attentive. Can I get an amen? Amen. Totally invested in what he's saying. Amen. This is God, y'all. This ain't no man. Amen. God don't lie. Amen. Oh, Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Have God ever let you down? No. 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 Amen. Amen. no. Amen. 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 Never. Read, 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 read. Also, I said to you. God said also. I love it. Go ahead. I am the Lord your God. Come on. Do not fear the gods of the Amorites. Don't you come on, man. Listen, man. One thing about God, but all idols will fall. Yes, it will. Amen, amen. All idols will fall. Yeah. Amen. You might not be like some of these people. Let me deal with you sage burners and all these. Got your little wicker. Got your little coal in the house with your little wicker baskets. and yeah. <laughs> Go to burn a whole bunch of weeds and twigs. Walk around the house. All right now. People right ain't running for no dog on sage. Amen. Amen. Man, come on, man. God said, man, you try me. Amen. 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 Baby daddy ain't paid the rent, so you finna go burn some sage. All right. <laughs> Somebody come in your house and y'all get in a fight, you gonna go with you who bleed, burn nose blood, you burning sage, walk around the right. that John, man, the devil ain't running from no sage. Amen. That's a gateway. Amen. He's sitting right there with you. Yes he is. Yes, he <laughs> is. You gotta hear me? Yes. All the incense and all. Now I got it if you try to fragrance your house, but man, there's spirits behind that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it ain't the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beat that. Beat that. A horoscope and astrology and all that mess, man. Right now, man. You ain't no man, no doggone fish. <laughs> <laughs> no crab and no unicorn and Pisces, all this, man. I'm a Gemini, so I ain't got no two personalities. I don't. <laughs> 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 God ain't in that horoscope. God ain't in that horoscope. God ain't in that mess, man. How in the world every Gemini on the face of this earth get the same word? Use your mind. So every Gemini all over the earth got the same horoscope. That don't even make no sense. I'm just God trying to help. Some people want no help. You just, I'm a bite seat. I don't care. Okay. I'm just doing what God tells me. He never, he, uh, you read your Bible in Leviticus. We never supposed to look to the stars to get di to get instructions. Amen. Now, they did use the star because the wise men used the star to get to Jesus. They used it as a guide, as a map to know east from west. But see, the pagans, they always want to find a way to get to God outside of doing it God's way. 
Amen. Well, see, God said, I'm gonna be the Lord of all, but I ain't gonna be the Lord at all. Amen. Amen. You ain't gonna be it. No, I wanna, I want you to, you want to trust me with the whole life I gave you. Because I gave it to you for a purpose. Amen. Well, you ain't gonna do 60 and come over. No, God said 99 and a half ain't gonna do it. Amen. I need the whole yard. Amen. Whole hundred. Yeah. Whole hundred. Yes. Can I get amen? amen? Read, read, read. Also, I said to you, I am the Lord your God. Do not fear the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. See, we listen, man. Only we're supposed to fear God. And we don't fear God because of... Uh, I don't want to go to heaven because I'm, I'm scared of God. I fear God because I know what he's able to do if he yeah. chooses to do. Yeah. I know he's a fast. Yeah. I know he's great. He's, yeah. he's God. Yeah. Right. But I don't live for him because I'm scared of him. Yeah. I live for him because I love him. Yeah. I live for him because he's able to do all that. And he chose not to. Yeah. I know everything I did. Yeah. I know how many times I lied to him. Yeah. And he yeah. still. Yeah. 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 Still, God stalked me. Yeah. Told y'all God the greatest stalk on this earth. Yeah. Yeah. Soon you with an everlasting love. Yeah. With all the foul, yeah. wicked, nasty yeah. junk we done did. Yeah. He still love us. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. Still love. He still running you down saying live for me, yeah. my baby. Yeah. Yeah. Still forgiving you. Yes, he did. It's in his word as far as the east is from the west. He said, I'm going to separate you from all that stuff that I don't like you did. Yes, Amen. Still going to let you wake up every morning with a yes, brand new verse. Yes, yes, yes. Brand spanking new verse. I don't remember that junk no more. Amen. Amen. That's why he's trying to process repentance in your life. Because he don't want you coming over here thinking it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. He is long suffering. Yes. Y'all yes. hear me? Yes. He's long suffering. Amen. I'm going to preach the right gospel. He's long suffering and he's forgiven. Yes, he is. You hear me? Yes, he is. But it's a time God to draw a line in the sand and he's showing you that. Yep. He's going to love you, but the Bible says he's chasing those that he loves. I'm going to love you, but I'm going to pick your, your rebellious behind up and I'm going to put you right over here because you didn't obey me. And now, now you want to be back on the other side of the blood the way I got to deliver you. Amen. You couldn't handle me just being a merciful. You ain't want to live for the mercy. Amen. You ain't want to live where the grace is at. You want to live on the, on the deliverance side. Amen. You love going to jail for six months and right, preaching right, the gospel right, for six right, months right. and getting out. Yeah, right, and then begging me not to sing you back, not to let you get down on the street. You love that kind of life. Amen. Can I get amen? amen. Read, read, read. But you have not obeyed my voice. You have not obeyed my voice. All right, now. He said all that. And whenever you see but, but excludes everything that was said yeah, before. That's right. That's he just right. reminded him of everything that he did for the forefathers, for the family. He yeah. said, but you didn't obey my voice. That's right. That's right. Read, read, read. Now the angel of the Lord. Now look at what's happening at the same time. That's what I love about God. At the same time, he talking to them. Look at who we talking to. Start right there. Let him, let him, let him, let him, let him arrive. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat underneath the terebinth tree. Just like when Saul, when Saul, when Saul got kicked, uh, knocked off the horse, horse at Damascus. God was talking to Saul and he was talking to Ananias at the same time. Read your Bible. Amen, amen. All y'all that's going, how, going further in your Bible study, go read that and tell me what you get out of it. Amen. Don't never, nobody ever get what one person did. <laughs> Yeah, she got with me. And I told her to go read the scripture and came and she came back to me. And you did too, you did too. Go ahead and read, read 11, 6 and 11, right. Now, the angel of the Lord came and sat underneath the terebinth tree. Now he talking, he just talking to him through the prophet. Right. That sat underneath the terebinth tree, which was in Oprah, which belonged to Joash, the Abzerite, which while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the wine press, in order to hide it from the Midianites. Oh, she was trying to figure out the word. That's what it was. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> a <visa> right? <laughs> I wonder why she paused out of the location. She see the traffic jam on the road. Go ahead. <laughs> and the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. I'm going to stop right there with Pete Game, y'all. I don't want to go into that, man. That's, that's a whole other route, man. You went to Gideon. But uh, the whole time... He put them in the hand. He put them in bondage. He, he put them over there. 
Set them all up for seven years. This is the eighth year after they cried out. Send a prophet. Why are you talking to them? He raising up the answer. Can I get an amen? amen. That's what he been telling you. He raising up the answer. He, he raising up Gideon. Because Gideon going to be the one that's going to deliver them. God always uses a man. I'm telling you. They season change. It's season change. They change. The season change from one point when he put them over there. Now it's season change because they're going to put them back where you can't get amen. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be able to discern the purpose, y'all. Relational intelligence. A lot of times, man, you go in a vicious cycle because you done ran off the wrong person. Yeah. 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 All in the, all in the, he was aggravating. Yeah. Yeah. She got on my nerve. That's because. For the whole eight months of processing, you chose not to get delivered, and you still got that street mentality. But God was forming you into a new creation, but you didn't let him. So you still the same way you were when you was on the strip post. Now you in the church, God trying to raise you up to be an evangelist, but the only way you're going to be an evangelist, you got to get taught. So the bad person he put in your life to teach you, you ran them off. Amen. Amen. Can't tell you nothing. That's right. Amen. Don't nobody like a know it all. Don't nobody like a know it all. Joking right now, man. I can't tell them nothing. I just leave them alone. They missing the whole season. I'm talking about, man, they can't tell them. They know something about how you know everything. Amen. Oh, Not agree or nothing, but you know everything. Right now. Yeah, amen. Amen. I literally, man, we won't, I, I ain't gonna call, man, I ain't got time for all that, man. Yeah. Can't tell him that. Nope. Yeah. Amen. amen. How is God gonna amen. raise you up if he can't get you the information? But here it is, God had the very person, man, that he had ordained. Now, this whole thing already set up. All we gotta do is fall in line. Yeah. Yeah. That's all we gotta do is fall in line, y'all. Yeah. How many of y'all can I get a witness that you done came in here? And fell in line and you growing. Amen, 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 amen. I see some of them hands you came in here bucking. <laughs> your wife growing. <laughs> but now you're here. Amen, amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Now I don't need no phone call. Now I ain't throwing off on nobody. Can I get an amen? amen. Oh, I just looked down look at the wall when I started saying that. Amen. But for real though. Amen. You started growing when you started letting go and just falling in line. And you realize this ain't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Because you let go of the mentality the devil had in. All that ego and all that set trip, all that, all oh, ain't no clicks up in here. We a family. Can I get an amen? It's family oriented. We love God. We love him people. We ain't moved by all them street stories, all them. Dog stores, all them killing and money, man. We ain't moved over here with that. We move how you want them past the test. That's how you get us. For real? So they cuss you out, you ain't do nothing. You. Now you'll get some conversation about stuff like that. But she was bad and she tried to pass, but I passed the test, pal. That's what get us moved over here. <laughs> I ain't got too many of them. I need to start hearing them fellas. I just thought about I made that up. <laughs> I ain't never heard that one. <laughs> can, I, can I get a amen? Come on, y'all stand to your feet. But God puts us in seasons of correction, y'all. All we gotta do is participate, y'all.